Hey, Jim Hudson here of Lean Frontiers with another edition of uh, Jim Shorts. Hey, uh, I want to talk to you this time briefly about, again, about Alexander Hamilton Church, probably one of the most prolific uh, industrial engineers um, of the industrial American Industrial Revolution. And just some things, his ideas and concepts, he was so centered around, well, you know, uh, concepts that we would refer to as lean or the lean enterprise today. This is one, and he's also one of the few uh, external people that was referenced um, it's kind of studies on uh, Ford's Highland Park plant, which is the plant um, where they manufactured the Model T. It also really was a kind of a pinnacle of a lot of uh, ideas and concepts from the American Industrial Revolution. And actually was the, was the basic model that Toyota was trying to emulate uh, when they developed the Toyota um, production system. But one thing in, uh, in uh, Church's writing um, about about this is a concept church followed was that uh, that he repeatedly returned to a common theme that if management was going to be concerned with total efficiency of the firm it cannot exclusively concern with the efficiency of the parts it's got to look at the whole sound familiar the whole value stream and so forth the whole uh, lean enterprise um, church went on further to condemn practices of looking exclusively at certain operations done on machines, uh, thereby failing to look at the operation in the larger context. Well, if that isn't what we've been told for the last number of decades on looking at the lean enterprise, you gotta look at the whole system, you gotta look at the whole value stream, and rightfully so, and so forth. Here again, um, well over 100 years ago, uh, Church was on top of that and promoting that. And um, the early Ford Motor Company was an example of that if you look again at their Highland Park facility. So again, lots of lessons relevant today um, going back many decades and even a century ago.